So hello guys, welcome back. From this video, we are going to start a new series, Water Delivery App Development in Android Studio. We are going to learn how to develop full-fledged water delivery application from scratch to end by using the Firebase as backend server. There are some major modules in our application like sign up and sign in for customers and sellers, dashboard, order management, rider location and status on Google map, user confirmation, payment, order history, etc. You can find the source code and resources being used in this project by the link in the description. So this is our first video of this series and in this video we will learn how to create animated splash screen in Android application. Let me show you the final output of this video. So you can see here our animation appears on the screen and goes away and then our welcome screen appears on the screen. So if you are new to our channel, then it is a request to please like, share our video, comment on our video and subscribe to our channel. Let's start the session. So for this, let's create a new project. Select the empty activity and click next. And in the application name, we will write water delivery app so we are okay with the name package name location and language click finish button so let's wait a while until android studio is ready for the development so okay guys our project is ready so because we have used the animation in our splash screen, we have used an animated file from a website called Lottie. Let's open that website. That is Lottie animation. You will search on Google and you can find it. This file contains many animations for your application and you can use the desired animation in your application as well. So let me search water bottle and press enter. So here we have a lot of animation related to our water delivery application and we can use it in our splice screen. So let me choose the appropriate for our project. Okay. This seems okay for our application. Let's select it. And you can see here the animation in action. From the download, select the Loti JSON. And you can see here our JSON file for this animation is downloaded. So let's include this file in our project. Let me rename this file. Splash animation. Copy this file. And from the resources, select the resource folder, right click on it from new. Select the Android resource directory. And from this drop down, select the raw and click OK. Now let's select the raw and paste the copied JSON file in this directory. Our splash animation JSON file is added in this project. Now it's time to include the dependency for this splash in our Android project. For this, we will go on the Google and search for Loti animation Android GitHub. Select the first Airbnb Loti Android and go down. And you can see here this is the code for adding the dependency of Loti animation in our project. Copy this code and come back to our Android project and 
from the gradle go into the build gradle scroll down and here you can see the implementation for various dependencies so let's paste it here and in this loti version we will write the latest version of the loti json file so currently it is saying the latest loti version is 4.0.0 let's write here and sync this project now our dependency is successfully added now it's time to add the splash activity in this project for this we will go into the drawable right click on it from new and we will select the activity and select the empty activity and name it as splash activity and click finish button so you can see here our splash activity is added in this project let's design our splash screen so first of all we will select the background color but before that let me add the color into our project from the values in the color i will write the color and the color code for my splash screen blue color is So now let's come back and add this background here. So okay guys, our background color is added. And from here, let me add the Loti animation view. So let me give the height 400 dp and width will be our content view. But before that, let me give some with the wrap content and the height is 400 dp from here let's give its appropriate constraints let's give some bias here so that it may appear on appropriate location we are okay at this location and from here let me give the raw resource and this is splash animation and autoplay is true so that whenever the splash screen will be added it will automatically play it let's check the action of our splash screen for this let's go to the project and go into the manifest file let's copy this code and paste into our splash screen now our first activity will be the splash screen Let's build and compile this application and see what happens here. So you can see here our animation is successfully working. So now it's time to add the text view in our project. For this we will place the text view here. Let's give the constraint, the top constraint to the bottom of this loti animation it is added now let's give the right and left and from here let me give the text as And the text color will be white. And the text size will be 30 SP. And text style will be bold. So now let's compile this application again and see what happens. So 
We are seeing the animation in our bottle, but we are not seeing the animation in this water delivery text. Let's add it. But before that, let me give the ID for this text view. Now let's come towards the splash activity Java file and from here let me give the reference of our text view. So from here we have get the reference of our text view and then we have animated it by giving the translation along the x axis it will slide along the x axis and we have set the duration for 1 second and its delay it's 2.5 second. Let's compile and build the application again and see what happens. So you can see here our text is also animated. But there is one mistake that we are seeing this navigation bar and this status bar. Let's hide the both things because they are making the splash screen somewhat weird. Let's do it. For hiding the navigation bar, we get the get support action bar and our navigation bar is hidden. And for status bar, we will So in this line we have hide the navigation bar and in the following line we have hide the status bar. Let's see it. So you can see here our navigation bar and status bar is hidden and it is looking nice. Now our splash screen is completed but our splash screen is not going to another screen. So the basic flow will be showing the splash screen and then it will be finished and we will navigate towards the next screen or welcome screen. So for navigating towards the next activity we will write the code here. So guys we have make a thread here and here we have given a 4 second delay in which our thread will be sleep and uh, our animation will be playing and then after completing this sleep we have navigated the supply screen to the next main activity or welcome screen. For giving the delay we have to write the statement in try catch statement and in the finally statement, we write the code which will be executed after handling the try catch statement. And finally, run the thread. So now let's build and run this code. So you have seen that after playing the splash screen we have successfully navigated to the next main activity so this was the basic flow for it let's play it again and check what happens so as you can see here our splash screen is appearing and an animation is playing and after animation we are navigated towards the main activity and there is an issue in it when the user will go back and press the back button it will again navigate it back to the splice screen. For this we will have to write the finish statement here. So when the user has gone from the splash activity, the splash activity will be finished from the memory. Now let's play again. So our splash screen is happening on the complete screen. 
After animation, we are navigated towards our welcome screen. And when I'm going to press the back button now, our application will be exit. So guys, in this video, we have successfully learned how to create the animated splash screen. So in the next video, we will create this welcome screen here. And in this welcome screen, we will have the sign up and sign in modules by using the Firebase. So stay tuned and see you in next video.